Given the recent Climate Change Commission's recent criticism of the government's efforts to date, what does carbon crop and participants in the ETS in general think is going to happen to the trade and NZ use and pricing of these units going forward, especially taking into account the recent significant fall in pricing? I think from the EMS trade point perspective, I mean, this is a really, really uh, tricky one to answer, especially just given the fact that we can't kind of offer the advice as such. One key observation that I would make, um, and as Rowan said, is that the ETS does remain um, a key government policy in meeting its emissions budgets. So it is very much in the government's interest um, to keep prices um, uh, increasing, as much as that hasn't seen the case. Uh, you should definitely bear in mind the fact that it's an election year coming up, so um, take from that what you will. The other side of it is the current price of a carbon unit in Europe is the equivalent of about 166 New Zealand dollars, which shows that other carbon markets are increasing to the levels that were suggested by the Climate Change Commission. And this analysis that the Climate Change Commission has done is certainly not unique. I've definitely seen lots of other analysis done by private companies that have shown that the price does need to increase. But obviously the government is continuously (laughs) balancing um, lots of other factors um, in the economy. And as we know, there are lots of fears of, um, you know, post pandemic recession and things like that, which is also possibly causing um, a reluctance in the government to um, really jump headfirst into the recommendations of the Climate Change Commission. So I would like to say that in the long term, prices will increase. Again, this is very much my opinion and not that of EMS trade points and should not be taken as advice. It's hard to know what that long term is actually going to be.